Uh, welcome, Mr. Clifford Elphick, CEO much. of Gem Diamonds. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. What do you expect to gain from your attendance at this conference? I want to hear what everybody else is doing in a public forum. Obviously, you have your own private information, right. but it was interesting to hear that. But then also just to network with many of our customers are here. Um, so it was an opportunity for me to uh, meet and talk to the customers uh, as well. What are your long-term plans given all your recent diamond asset acquisitions? Look, we are you are aiming to be among the top? Yes, absolutely. That's what we want to be. We want to push as hard as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got cash on our balance sheet and no debt. We've got a whole lot of uh, uh, projects coming on stream, notably in Botswana but also in the DRC. And so then you look for the next opportunity. So we will push as hard as we can. It's a small universe, so um, the opportunities are limited. How do you find working with local governments? Uh, what are your policies regarding beneficiation? Lesotho is starting to address the, uh, the issue, but what they are concerned about, of course, is the very high value of the diamonds and the, the great desire for Lesotho's uh, goods, let's say goods in particular, they really would like to achieve the maximum possible price. Mm. And I think that they're concerned, because it's such a low number of carats, mm. that to, to try and uh, get people to invest in local beneficiation will mean a sacrifice in, in the price which they achieve. And I think at this point, whilst they're just a small number of carats being produced from uh, Lesotho, I don't think it's an option at this point but the issue has been raised we we would like to cooperate with the government there and achieve maximum um, return for them which may mean beneficiation but it might not be in country okay. but it may be beneficiation out of country in which they have some sort of share we, so it's a slightly different model we're trying to explore this you don't really have set lines I mean no. circle side holders that you yeah. select no, we well, don't. what would your selection process be or your criteria look I mean our criteria is really is the is the purchaser um, a credible person in the diamond industry. Two is their cash good. Uh, can they pay? Are they reliable? Do they have a track record of uh, of delivery? And then finally, we obviously would like our goods to go to people who manufacture them excellently. So the quality of the manufacturing process also counts for us. But at the end of the day, you know, we're looking for the highest price. Do you have plans to go downstream? We've just polished our first um, uh, Let's Sing goods. We're busy polishing some, uh, some Ellendale goods from Australia, and we tender the polished. Uh, unlike, uh, we don't have relationships with any jewelry, uh, arms, chains, so we tender the polished. And that's, that's delivered a very, very good result for us so far. But the important thing about that is it gives us a, an understanding of what the right price for the rough is. Of course, we our main business is selling rough. So how important is Israel as a, as a center, manufacturing and trading center? Wherever delivers a good result for us is where we will go. And that may well include Israel. 